Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a super fantastic day. In this edition, I examine the 2021 Flagstaff Microlite 25 FKS and its cousin, the Rockwood Mini Light 2506S. The unloaded vehicle weight of this unit is about 5,281 pounds, and its cargo carrying capacity is 1,523 pounds. The exterior length, an inch under 20 six feet. In the back you have a camper queen, in the middle you have the restroom. Sadly when you uh, close up the uh, U-dinette, the slide, uh, it closes off that area so you can't have access to it. But it has a very nice kitchen area up front. Here's a front view. Of course you can see there the uh, expansive tinted automotive style glass up front. Gives you a great view of the exterior and is very nice. I really enjoy it, especially since you're going to be in the kitchen cooking and you can look out onto your great and fabulous campsite. I saw this unit at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people ever. Up front you get a power tongue jack and two 30 pound uh, propane tanks. You can add two batteries in that little case in the back and of course right under the propane tank is uh, the shutoff switch for the DC power. I saw this unit on October 13, 2020. There's a scissor jack, so it keeps the unit a little bit stabilized, not a lot, but a little itty bitty bit. <laughs> there's a shower to the left, the outdoor shower, and there's that slide. You get awning style uh, tinted windows, very nice. And Goodyear tires, that's new for uh, 2021. They say 14 inch on their website, they say they're 15 inch. I get confused. There's a gray and the black dumps. Let me back up a bit and show you the awning style windows. Very nice, nicely tinted. There's a ladder to the roof. Let me go on top of the roof and show you what's upstairs. You got a basic vent and then you got the super very nice uh, max air fan with the uh, rain cover and then you got the air conditioning unit. In the back conveniently located is the spare tire with cover. In that tray uh, you can put some items it comes out in and out it looks sort of like a coffin it goes right under the bed so it has a little lock there to make sure it doesn't slide up. Right there is the uh, hitch. It can handle about 300 pounds, specifically bike racks or a little tray. Let me pan the camera up. There's the gravity fill for the water. City water connection, antifreeze inlet, and cable and satellite connections. Yes, I can read. There's a frameless awning style windows, and of course the ladder to the left. You get a 17 foot, uh, very nice awning. I really like it. To the left there you have the uh, water heater. And you also get a nice outdoor kitchen. It's one of the benefits of this unit is the it allows you to have a small, uh, relatively small outdoor kitchen. So you can do some camping outdoors, not necessarily on the picnic table, or you know, have it connected to your propane right at this spot. Again, you get a small refrigerator that requires shore power, and you get a two-burner cooktop. This tray goes in and out like a breeze. There's exhaust for the heater, and on this tray you can put another table that they give you, and also a griddle that they give you also. There's shore power connections and an antenna connection, and right up here, right up here, you can put a television. There's a rear of the refrigerator. I really like these Moride Step Above uh, steps, especially the ones that are upgraded unit with a strut assist. See that little box right there? That delineates that this unit for the 25 FKS has a strut assist. It has little pistons that uh, help you lift it up and take it down. No pass-through storage. That's one of the negatives of this unit. No pass-through storage. You just get a little bit of storage right there and they have some odds and ends in there. So what do you think of this unit so far? I really like it. The only negative I can find for this unit is that the fact that uh, when you close the slide, you don't have access to the restroom and you don't have access 
to the bedroom. You're gonna have to sleep <laughs> on the sofa. Let's go inside and check out this unit. There's a door in the uh, fire extinguisher. And to the left, you can see the uh, ground fault circuit interrupting uh, outlets, uh, receptacles. You got two of them. And of course, a Wi Fi Ranger in the Wii RV app. You can control with the Wii RV app your slides, your lights, and of course, your awning. There's a 22 inch oven and a nice little three burner stove top. Let me open it up right now. Of course, that bifold uh, stovetop cover also uh, serves as an extension of your food prep area. Right above the stovetop was your microwave. Down here is your stovetop with uh, three burners. Below the uh, stovetop, of course, is your oven. It's a 22-inch oven. A lot of manufacturers out there only give you like a 16 inch oven. You may throw in some blue lights, but it's still only 16 inches. Solid surface countertop with a receptacle right there in that corner. Very conveniently located. And of course, right up front, you get that uh, automotive style window, which uh, I closed it because it was getting a little bit too bright. You get a twin bowl stainless steel sink, oil rub bronze uh, faucet, and a nice little cover there. You won't be complaining for interior storage. Plenty of storage right above the uh, kitchen area and to the left and below. This is the new lighter Newport Ash finish. What do you think about it? They also have a darker version of uh, the stain, the wood pattern. You get solid wood uh, door fronts, uh, plywood box construction, all metal glides for the slides. Very nice. And there's that oil rub bronze detail. The big selling point, I feel, of this uh, travel trailer is the expansive kitchen area. Right there you see two receptacles, and as I pan up, you get a perfect area to put your packaged and canned goods. Let me pan to the left to the uh, pleated curtains, pleated blinds. What do you think of those window treatments? I, I like them. They're okay. Nothing great. This is the new Millersburg collection. It replaces the old collection that used to have those little funny little square end tables. Since I didn't have uh, shore power and I didn't bring my little uh, battery, I couldn't get those uh, things to work, those little buttons. But they should work for you. Uh, I would request a demonstration when you go see this unit. You pull that little ripcord and it becomes a little recliner and it is uh, super, super, super comfortable. I'm pointing towards the TV. And the footrests are very strong. They can handle quite a bit of weight. And this is not the perfect TV watching position. It's a bit of an angle there. It's a, you have to crick your neck. Hidden in the armrest is a couple USBs and an alternating current and two cup holders. Perfect for a, a couple's camper. I think this is a couple's camper. What do you think? I don't see really any easy way for other people to hang out with you and sleep over. So again, this is the Millersburg collection and no more baby and tables. Thank you very much. Right behind the recliners were two receptacles, actually four receptacles for alternating current. To the bottom right there, you have your space heater slash fireplace. And to the left is a electric propane refrigerator. There is now an option for a 10 cubic foot DC refrigerator freezer. I would go for that. To the left are some uh, coat hooks and right up there you have your uh, head unit for your stereo system and for your TV system. Very nice. And to the right is a little charging station with a little netting. I would have preferred a little glass door, a little something, anything better than these little bungee cords. That's a budget option. And there's a good size TV with a sound bar. And for a person like me, I would really enjoy watching that TV. Too bad the chairs are a little uh, obtuse <laughs> to the TV. To the right, you get a little window. As I pan to the left, there's a light switch. And it says there you can put uh, a solar charge controller somewhere in this unit. 
I don't know if you put the actual display unit there, you put the charge controller typically closer to the batteries for efficiency's sake, unless you're not interested in electrical efficiency. There's a porcelain foot flush toilet in the shower, the Neo Angle shower to the right. Again, this is not a plastic toilet, this is a very nice porcelain, easy to clean, easy to clean porcelain toilet. And this is an area where you can put your linens, your towels, your odds and ends. And of course you can see the vents right there. And this has the uh, Max Air fan with rain cover. An upgrade over your typical little modest little bathroom fan. This travel trailer takes advantage of AquaView shower miser system. It recirculates the water, making sure it's up to temperature before you use it so you don't waste a bunch of water. A great idea in this little uh, sack little mesh thing. You can put your shampoo, your conditioner, your soap, etc. I find this very, very interesting. It has different, you know, dimensions. You can put some things that fit here, some things that fit there. It's your little medicine cabinet. Sort of a Mondrian uh, inspired little piece there. I keep on hoping that uh, Microlite and uh, Mini Light will offer stainless steel sinks. One of these days they will and replace that cheap plastic sink. That's a perfect area for a little garbage can. What do you think? Nice little metal hinges and of course you get alternating current right there. Let me close the medicine cabinet right there it says in that little decal that uh, the plumbing eliminates a lot of the stinkiness and of course there's a little towel ring. Let's go check out the bedroom. Why not? Let's go check it out. Just a few steps away <laughs> this is not 3,000 square feet. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. They use a lot of mesh in this unit. I don't like it. I don't like this mesh. I'll be very straightforward. I prefer if a little glass door, a wooden door, any kind of door. This is where you can plug in your TV, the antenna, and the current. And again, that mesh bungee cord, that's, that's cheap. What's behind this panel? It's about an inch little space there. You can hide your secret little painting right there. You have some receptacles here, a little table on both sides, and shirt and jacket storage. And this center area goes all the way across so you can put whatever you want there. Again, you can see where you can hang your uh, clothing right there. Perfect. I think it's perfect. His and hers, his and his, hers and hers, you and your friends, whatever, whatever you're doing. It'll work, I'm pretty sure. You get a little drawer on this side. The other side does not get a drawer. And what do you think of this pattern for the pillows and the comforter and the window treatments? That's the emergency exit in case you gotta make a quick exit. There's another receptacle for your uh, use. What do you think of the flooring? What do you think of the lighter woods of this uh, Newport ash? I really like it. And this has the lighter color for the sofa. They have a chocolate in that color also. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much ahead of time. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And please leave your kind and super friendly comments below the description. They are always greatly appreciated. I used my Panasonic Lumix G85 with kit lens uh, for this uh, video, and I also used a uh, DJI Ronin SC gimbal. Made it a lot easier, made things a little bit more stabilized. I was at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth. They are the nicest people ever. So this has been a review of the 2021 Flagstaff Microlight 25FKS, Rockwood Mini Light 2506S. Did I say that fast enough? Thanks for watching RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Nena Garza from Fort Worth, Texas. I hope you're doing well. Hope you got some cash in your wallet. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.